So in this video, I'm going to help uh, people who create groups and show them how to add members to their group, either manually or have their members use an access code to get into the group. Okay, so let's get started. So just go ahead and log into your Schoology account. And once you're in, go to your group. And in this case, I'm going to go to my own group, I, a geometry learning team, a group that I created. And I have just a few members here. Now, once you're in, go to the part on the left-hand side that says Members and click on that. And you'll be able to see the members that are part of that group, okay? Um, now, let's say that you want to add another member to this group. You just go up to here, click on members, add members rather, and if that person is part of Schoology already, you simply type their name. Let me just try that one more time, sorry about that. There we go. Oh, hold on. You need to find them. select. If they show up, I was looking for Leslie, and there she is. So I go ahead and click on Leslie's name, and I add members without invite. Make sure you go down here, and then you simply add her. And then what you'll notice is that she shows up here. Now, if you want to make her an administrator, you go over here and make her an admin. If you do that, she's able to post different uh, messages into that group. If you don't want her to be an administrator, then obviously you just don't do that. Now, the other thing that you can do is to simply copy this access code and then go ahead and email that out or give the information out to each member that you want to add to their group. And then it's up to them to go to the groups and learn how to join a group and just put this access code in there. Okay, so I hope that was helpful. Again, there's two ways to do this. You can simply go up to add members, uh, go ahead and search for the member, make sure that once you find them, add members without the invite and then just simply add them. Or like I said before, find the access code, give it to the members either again through an email or, or just write it on a piece of paper, whatever, and then they can add themselves. I hope that was helpful to you.